Hello and welcome back, this is ProTailDav back with another update video. This time we're going to be looking at the recent update to Turtle Trial. So, not long ago I released this update for a combat fix. This will fix a lot of the issues that a lot of people have been having. I'm just going to go over the list. This is only going to be a short video. This is only to show off what's kind of been changed very quickly. Just letting you know that there is an update out. Okay, so let's load it up. Um, so this is just me going into the game and showing you. Um, let's just go to menu. And in the menu you can see that we got the new uh, notification of our update, a new uh, thumbnail. Uh, and this will basically show you that this is just the combat update and you can look it up. So all this is is just uh, fixing issues of the bite back update that was caused by it. So things like new um, objectives and stuff that were broken. You may notice there's no, uh, unlike the previous update video, there was uh, me at the bottom right, uh, my cam. Unfortunately my cam is not working so we'll have to um, have no cam for now. Hopefully I'll get that fixed next time. Uh, so as you can see I've just added only two things really, but it's just to save the nighttime overlay. So before you would save the game and load back and then the nighttime would actually be reset. Um, the actual overlay would just disappear as if it wasn't even nighttime that's fixed and saved and now hunger fit and health is now saving which is a big thing players were actually using that as an exploit um surprised didn't notice it sooner it's something i should have noticed uh, and done anyway but uh, it's fixed now it's saved um basically people were just logging out and logging back in to get full health full um hunger and stuff uh, so that's fixed that's done and then what i've done is reduce the amount of spawns to create a little bit less lag but just increase their damage to kind of compensate for that. I've also increased the bite range a little bit, uh, very very minor. I removed the loading bar because it was kind of pointless uh, because the way loading works for this game it kind of loads everything at the more 1%-ish mark. Um, that's kind of what it, it basically loads everything early on on that 1% and then just speeds right through the rest of the loading so it's kind of pointless basically. Uh, so that's removed, which I don't think is an issue because they still have the spinny loading icon that will notify the player if the game's crashed or not most of the time. Um, then you have things like the loading text is now bold so it's easier to read. Uh, Piranha, like I said, have more health. Um, they have, sorry, they don't have more health, they have a, a, a bigger health bar so it's easier to see. Um, player data loading is a little bit quicker, I've increased the speed of the loading so that when you're actually in the game, after everything's loaded and the level's loaded, the player then loads all of their stats and information, and so you'll see them sometimes flick to a different location, and that's because, again, that location has been loaded. That has been sped up slightly. Um, I don't like loading it all in one go because um, if you load it like gradually, like really, really quickly, but like slightly separate, it can cause a little bit of issues if it's on the same time because multiple loading is going on. And so, a lot of games do this, um, they make it so that it's a tiny bit different, the loading, um, a, li a little bit later for each thing, and that's what I've done. But I've just sped it up a little bit more. Um, then the fair meter uh, total amount is now uh, reduced by half, so it's much, much easier for the fear to uh, drain. Uh, it'll be much quicker, or it'll appear quicker, that's just because it's, there's far less of it. Um, the bite uh, attack now appears locked in certain stages of the boss fight to let the, uh, the player know it is unavailable. So during the boss fight, one of the feedback I got was that um, the boss would basically, when you're in a co in combat, you couldn't access some of your bites, but they were, it was still available and you could still see it. Um, this this was a bit weird because the port of the teleport um, was locked off, uh, notifying the player that you couldn't teleport out. And so I, might, I did the same thing for the bite, basically, to notify the player that it's locked. Uh, yeah, Piranhas do 20% more damage than previously, as it was just too low, and it's kind of compensating for the uh, the fact that there's less of them. Uh, Piranhas are a little bit faster as well, so they're a bigger threat, so you're going to have to get those final um, upgrades in order to actually be able to get away from them, so early on it's going to be quite difficult, which is fine. Even more Predators are now in the Lost Path uh, trial, so in hard difficulty, because one of the feedback I got was that the hard isn't as bad, um, it should be much more difficult. There are some minor changes in the hard, but they're very, very technical stuff to help the game run and optimize a little bit better. Um, so I didn't include them in this. Um, then I fixed some issues. So the sub piranha, which is the smaller ones that follow the main piranha, um, 
basically it wasn't following the main piranha correctly, now it is, so that's fixed. The player not being able to kill any electric eels, that's fixed. Um, the tick not appearing on correctly on objectives that were complete, that's fixed. Uh, achievement notification not updating on individual completions, that's fixed. Uh, gaining more than one resource at a time would not track in the objectives uh, correctly, that's, that's fixed. Uh, individual law not tracking correctly. This was a bit of an issue um, because I still wanted the total amount to be tracked. So I've left the total amount being tracked um, with the number. However, you still need 10 of the individuals and I've put that in the description uh, when you hover over the objective. So now you need an individual uh, law to be collected before you can actually complete that task even if you have more than 10. Um, but it still says there's 10 total individual ones. Uh, the reward skill points not correctly added to the total amount when the objective is completed. This was when um, this happened a lot during the times when you would over. It was kind of very connected to this one, which is getting more uh, resource than initially calculated. So when you get more than one, it would over uh, go over the amount required for the uh, reward, and so that's fixed. Teleport locked after leaving afterlife area when teleport cooldown is active. So this was just a minor visual bug um, that is fixed. Now when you leave the um, afterlife, it'll be unlocked again um, if you've, the teleport is still on cooldown. Um, so that works fine. Um, turtle bite attack is still disabled when boss fight is over. Um, this was something that I actually discovered no one was able to actually defeat the boss um, and give feedback on what happens after. So this is now fixed. Um, Basically, the, the bike would be completely disabled unless you exited the game and logged back in. So, yeah, now it's working. The enter the boss fight button not working for controller. Um, so, this was something that I just was a, an overstep on my part. I just didn't notice that um, it wasn't actually supported correctly. I thought I'd done it, but it actually it wasn't working. So, that should be fixed now. One or two players were complaining that the turtle trial is actually a little bit too difficult for the lost path. Um, however, the game does get easier when you get more and more upgrades. I know it sounds a bit like an excuse, however, um, it really does get a lot easier and that was the whole point of bringing in these uh, consumables that you can create, is to make your life so much more easier and um, when you do get those and you do focus on creating those craftables, um, the game really does get easier. Obviously, you, can, you get an upgrade later allowing you to create multiple with only the same amount of resources and if you use them the right way it works out. Um, in the next update what we're kind of be looking at now is if the, if the update is still okay, if, the, uh, if there aren't any, any new bugs and new glitches then what will be happening is I'll be working on the Explorer update which is going to add a couple new biomes, it's going to be working on the Scrooge Redemption um, after that I'll also be working on um, obviously the next update after that is the Challenger update after that, obviously any bug fixes I can fix, I'll go for that and that'll be kind of the game finished as far as I want to go with it. Okay, that'll do. I'll see you next time.